Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, my friends. Bayano here with Bayano Renault. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install a shower base. Start from a zero to finish. Like uh, you guys can see here, this is a hardwood floor. So we're just gonna cut it, remove the hardwood floor and set up the shower base. Let's work. It's short, nice and clean. Yeah. This is the shower base right there. It is a good size, 38 by 38. And um, I'm gonna cut the the hardwood in here to remove whatever is on the floor and we go from the old Makita we just set up the depth just to cut the floor that way we don't cut anything else and then once we cut this uh, hardwood floor we're just gonna remove it Based right on top of the hardwood floor but we just want to remove it we might need a few pieces of this wood to fill in some space uh, on the house and this is our old one, probably would be very hard to find. Yeah, the skill saw doesn't go all the way to the corner, so I'm just gonna use this one to go to the end. I don't have a biggest hole saw. So I'm just gonna make a hole with this one and then I cut a little bit big with um, the sawzall. Set up the drain. Okay guys, this is just a base drain. No mud to it, just by pick up separate, doesn't come with the shower. So we have a, one rubber gasket and one paper gasket and the ring to tie it up. So uh, nice and simple. The way it goes, we put the rubber. And then I put the paper gasket, that way it doesn't get a shape. I show you guys in a bit. I'm just gonna use some uh, silicone cock just to have the extra pot protection right there. So, because pretty much the chance of leaks is just uh, between this part and the shower itself, so I just want like a extra protection. Just be like, don't be afraid to put a, a good amount of uh, silicone in there, some sealant, that way uh, if we go over, just clean up, is I just can use some uh, alcohol and the paper and clean the excess.
like you guys can see, not all the time this part is straight. Some of the showers they come, they are nice and straight. You put the seal, it sealed, doesn't leak. But uh, in this case, it's not the case of this one. <coughs> Put in there. Then we're gonna put this gasket. Like I said, I'm just gonna put a little bit of extra in here because I just to, to make sure this is gonna be sealed. Non leak. Because it would be like a, after you install it, if you have a leak, it's just like so much headache that you guys cannot think of. Uh, this is the rubber gasket and then we have the paper one the paper just prevent this one from a uh, shink when you tighten up this is the tighten up ring so what I do I just tighten up as much as I can with the hand if you think it's not uh, Tight enough, we can use one of this wrench, it's just a nice piece to have. You guys can do like this, just uh, you can hold with uh, one plier. Like you hold this part, that way it doesn't move. Okay, you just hold the pipe and then you can uh, tighten up the ring. Real tight. The silicone is just popping up in there. If you have doubt that it's too concerned about leak, you still can uh, add a bit more in there. It's not uh, really necessary, but it's a good idea to feel concerned. I'm gonna show you the other side of the drain. The drain is on place. I'm gonna show you guys in there. You can see the, the caulking right there, the silicone. Just to show you guys. Then I'm just gonna Clean that up. Well, you have be done very much right away. Just gonna get it clean up. Just don't want to touch too much with my bare hand. The cotton, eh? the silicone. I just want to make sure we have all in there, like you guys can see. This is nice and still in there. It's good to have some uh, spray alcohol, but what I have here is this, guys. You see, just have some alcohol in it. Hand sanitizer, this works very good. Very much gonna clean the excess that we have. Make sure it is nice and clean. You can see this is now, once you put the alcohol, nice, clean, smooth, just do it right away. Okay, uh, this should work very good. I done uh, the drain like this uh, many times and uh, I had no problem with leaking, so it should be good to put this bag on place. Next, we're gonna set up the drain downstairs. Hello, guys, we're just uh, here underneath the, the shower that we're installing upstairs. With the hole for the shower base, and we have the pipe come from there, the main pipe for it. So, I'm just gonna, gonna set this stuff up. The main pipe for the drain. So there is uh, we have the end of the pipe to connect to it. 
You guys can see where the pipe is that we're gonna connect it to. So I just gonna put, I gonna set up, sure. put a piece of pipe in there. I just cut a small piece of pipe. I just put it up there. In this case, I just want this uh, trap to be close to the choice, that way you have a slope. So I put it very tight. We have the trap. The trap is just, this is a solid trap. I like it better than the, the one that you screw on, because sometimes the one that they screw on has leak. In this one you put the contact cement. It's sure not to leak. So, because the reason that I want it uh, to be tight up there, because I want a nice slope. Right now I'm gonna use an elbow. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna put it up. Let me get an extra step house. Okay, I'm just gonna set up my elbow right there. So I have it uh, set up. Now I'm gonna take uh, my measurement, so I'm gonna put the tape right, like you guys can see here. Now you can guys see here, like uh, the end of the pipe in here, we just need, I'm gonna make it 53 inches, so like you guys can see. I have the pipe a little bit bigger from both ends, that way it fits in. So we have it 53 inches. I have the saw in here, but uh, if you don't have a saw, I have an electric saw. But if you don't have it, I just show you. See, I just uh, got this out of the garden. Just This is a soft pipe. I'm just gonna measure it. Right there I have my 53, 53 inches. You guys can see. Right, right there, 53 inches. Mm -hmm. I move the tape. I hold this guy tight. Pretty much any saw will do it. This is a soft, nice stuff to work with. This is a ABS pipe. Yeah, this is uh, like you see, when you cut, it's a little bit rough in there. This is important to get it clean, otherwise uh, thing is start to get stuck on it, like hair and then Cause a hairball, so we just uh, don't have to be something too crazy. You can use like a, mm -hmm. a sandpaper, or you can just uh, use a knife or something to just to clean it. I just make sure I keep this nice and clean in here now. It is very important that we go and uh, very much do a fit, do a fitting to see if it's uh, before we go ahead and everything together. We just need to check it. There is my elbow. I have it in. Very much we have a good fit. And you guys can see, once you look on the pipe, you see the slope. You can look there, you see the slope on the pipe. The pipe is sloping down that way. And then you can see the other pipe who come across, else is uh, sloping down to the main pipe. So here is uh, nothing fence. It's just uh, 
Just do it and uh, we're good to go. Yes, okay. Right now we're just gonna have everything cut to the size. We have uh, some uh, ABS cement in here. We have some ABS glue. So I'm just gonna put on the outside side of this pipe. I put a lot of it. Uh, gonna look a little bit mess, but the important is uh, it is sealed. Nice and good, all right? All the way up. And that part is in. I have both sides we did. I just put it just so on the outside side. On the outside side of the pipe, sometimes when you put it in, you could have some residual from the glue and it would uh, mess up the inside of uh, the pipe and it start to accumulate stuff. All I'm trying to do here is just to keep uh, the inside of the pipe as clean as possible. What I do, I just put the glue on the outside of it. Don't put on the inside, that way I just want to keep it clean. I just want to make sure the water gonna run nice. Yeah, I'm just using some uh, ABS cement. It's just a uh, standardized stuff, nothing special, pretty much any supply you can find it. And uh, it's a good idea to, to wear a gloves when you do it. Yeah, it's a good idea to use a glove because this is a little bit harm for your hands and got really stuck. And uh, maybe you wear a, if you have to do a lot, just to wear a working clothes, older clothes, because this thing would get stuck and uh, on the clothes and it's very hard to come out. And the other thing is once you have your all set up, just uh, Cut your pipe pre-fit it. Once, once you have all the pipe pre-fit and you start to use the, the cement, just uh, go a little bit fast because uh, if you take a little bit too long to put it, you might have to move the, the join a little bit. And uh, this thing will dry fast, set fast. So just not wait too long to, to connect all the pipes. And this is why it's very important to pre-cut it, pre-fit everything. And uh, then use a contact cement. We back upstairs just to show you guys. We use uh, self-drilling screws in here. That way, it not uh, crack or damage the the side of the shower. All right. So this go nice and easy. And uh, what if you don't have a uh, self-drilling screws? You just get a drill bit, make a little hole. And I uh, just put the regular screws in. Okay. But if you have a soft drill, you don't need to do that. So here is how it goes, like, like you guys can see. The I.O. is there. And suppose this is the tile. Once we put the tile, we don't have tile here right now. The tile will go straight down on top of the shower base like that. Sorry we don't have any tile on site, so I just show you use this uh, piece of wood in there. So this is what's gonna happen, like you see. You see how the drywall sits in there? Right on top of this part of the shower. Just did the pipe, we're gonna test this shower base. We're gonna do the drywall repairing here. On this side is still gonna do it. And then we go, we go from there. Yes, we're just gonna, we're gonna fill this with water. We're just gonna cover the drain with a, a tape. And we're just gonna fill this uh, 
the shower base with water and let it sit for a day or two whether it's leak or not and if we need to do something else but usually the way we done it here we never had a problem but we never know all the time even though we have to test it to make sure it's all the cement that we use there usually you just give a uh, like two three hours and it's are uh, good to test it but we're just gonna give a little bit more time to make sure it is good yes uh Else we have the video how to install the shower faucet. We have to we show you how to install the, the faucet, the diverter, and uh, we have a video on that. Just, uh, if you're doing a shower, that uh, would be very helpful. Yes, once uh, we here once we're doing the tile, we're gonna have a video on that coming up too, so you guys can see how it done and is very easy by the end you'll be able to do a full shower by yourself if you have any question just uh, put on the comments and we'll be here to to help you guys out no problem and thank you for your support thank you for watching this video and keep your eye open we have some more content coming up this is a part of the half duplex hello and you can watch that one else and um, you can watch the progress video and uh, if you wants to keep 100% informed just subscribe and we'll be right there thank you guys i love you and uh great support that you guys giving us thank you very much see you in the next video yes my friend this is how my shower turned out as you can see after the time and everything else and um we have a door in there everything running good and uh, this is the final result after we finish it we already had the place rented for a bit so we just need to go over and do a little bit clean up